Hi, Danielle. Hi again, Micah. Aren't you happy to hear from me? So I was chatting with our execs over lunch, and now that they see that we can work so quickly, they want more, and we've got more work to do. First, they want the coolest e-commerce storefront out there. I'm sure you remember that our goal is a munch box on every single sofa. And they want proof it's the coolest, so we need to connect our analytics system to the registration and login experience to prove people are moving through smoothly. So in other words, another low-key project for you. Are you up for it? Wow, Danielle, so great to see you. This is a long list of complex requirements and I can't imagine my team is gonna be able to release this in any reasonable amount of time. I guess I gotta go learn the HubSpot APIs and how they all work. Uh, but don't you remember the last time? Use Okta and this should take you much less time than it normally would. Especially with their new Okta workflows for customer identity product, I've heard it'll help you set up these integrations without having to read all of those API docs. Let's see, to make sure our customers have a smooth experience, we need to get their profile information into our CRM system, HubSpot. And Okta does have a pre-built connector and workflows for HubSpot. Looks like they've already done the hard work on understanding HubSpot's API, so I don't have to write any custom scripts or manage API tokens. I can just use the create contact action as part of a new Snacker registration workflow or the create company action for our corporate clients. Now, I don't have to learn the HubSpot API. That is super exciting, Micah, super exciting. So I was on a casual lunch with our CMO, who is also super excited, and he said that user registration and sign-ins are key KPIs to make sure we're converting customers and driving customer delight. And I honestly think that driving customer delight is just so important these days, don't you? So I want to make sure Okta is integrated with our analytics solution mix panel so we're capturing it all properly. True to form, looks like Okta has a connector for that too. So again, I don't need to spend time reading mix panels API documentation, and I can just use the create profile action to pass over the registration information that our execs are interested in. I've created a simple automated flow so that when new snackers register for Munchbox, we create their profiles within mix panel and HubSpot CRM. This ensures that customer records in those systems are always up to date and are in sync. Again, Okta's taken away a lot of the custom coding work I usually have to do when building integrations, and it looks like I won't have to do any integration maintenance as Okta just handles that for me. All right, now I'm gonna go munch on some snacks. Oh wow, our marketing team just let me know that Munchbox has really become popular with the TikTok crowd over the past few weeks. Cool. We just launched a limited edition Pokemon Munchbox and it looks like its popularity has attracted a ton of bots. And our analytics solution mix panel just let me know that our conversion rate is going down. Ugh. Last time this happened, our customers got stuck while bad snackers squeaked through. This is exactly the opposite of what we want and our exec team is gonna kill me. I won't be able to have lunches with them anymore. Micah, can you jump on this and fix it ASAP? Sure, Danielle. Okta can help with this fraudulent activity. I see in Okta's system log that we're allowing a ton of bad traffic, but there's a few policies I can configure in Okta that will help. We'll use Okta's Threat Insight, Okta's native capability to detect and automated threats, and integrate with our bot mitigation solution fastly. This will then feed into Okta's risk engine, so we're adding invisible security to block these bots without impacting legitimate snackers. In fact, I was already integrating our bot detection solu solution fastly, as you can see here. The remaining steps could be done in this admin console, but I prefer to do this via API. So let me pull up Postman, which simplifies interacting with APIs. You can see the endpoint I'm calling here and the payload that I'm sending to it. Previously, I turned on Threat Insight onto audit mode to just log the suspicious activity that was occurring. Given this bot attack, I now want to change that to block mode to automatically deny suspicious activity identified by Okta. We'll send that and you can see here we're getting a 200 OK to indicate that the change has been made. 
Now I need to create a new risk policy that blocks the high risk attempts, thereby catching bad snackers and minimizing security blind spots. And I send that and I get the 200 OK as well. Let's head back to the Okta system log. And we can see that it's logged the threat insight changes and added this new risk policy. We can also see risk signals from Fastly being regularly ingested into Okta. And we can see high risk requests are now being blocked. I'm so glad I didn't have to defeat these bad snackers myself and was able to rely on Okta and Fastly's expertise to get the job done for me. Thanks, Micah. Looks like the authentication errors are starting to go down, which means my exec lunches are going to go up. Let's check out TikTok and see how people are reacting. Oh, hey, everyone. It's Teju, your one and only average snacker. And I'm back today to review Munchbox's app. Now, as you guys know, I've been waiting forever for these Pokemon Munchbox snacks to drop. So today I'm going to review Munchbox's app. And next week, I'll review my snacks. OK, let's go ahead and get started. Now, I've already downloaded Munchbox. And the first thing I see here is a snack special for $5 a month. Definitely want to add that to my cart. And I'm liking what I see so far. And yep, here are those Pikachu snacks that I wanted to. Going to go ahead and add those to my cart. And I should be ready to check out here. Uh, but before I can check out, it looks like I need to create an account. Makes sense. Probably just need to enter my name, email address, password, the usual stuff. So let me go ahead and do that now. Name, email, and oh, wait, no password. I can just verify my account through my email. Extra points for Munchbox on that one. OK, so I see the email from Munchbox now, and I'm one step closer to my snacks. Now, before I can officially buy my Pokemon snacks, it looks like Munchbox is asking me for my favorite snack types. But I really just want to get straight to buying my snacks, so I'm going to skip this for now. And I'm ready to check out. OK, guys, so far, I got to say, 5 out of 5 for Munchbox. Impressed with the sign up process, the UI, and I'm sure those Pokemon snacks will be great. As you, you guys know the deal, don't forget to subscribe, Average Snacker Teju, and I'll see you next week. Looks like Teju is a satisfied customer of Munchbox, and so is her TikTok entourage. Thanks to Okta, I was able to ensure a seamless passwordless customer experience, learn more about snack preferences during checkout to provide promos in the future, quickly set up e-commerce and analytics to monitor our conversion rates, reduce malicious logins with Okta Thread Insight and the Risk API with our bot detection vendor Fastly, all while saving hundreds of hours of developer effort. Don't you just love when the PM lists out all of these results like that as if it was one they're doing and two really easy? Normally this would annoy me more. This time I'll admit I'm ever so slightly humbled. Okta legitimately saved me months of time. I got the visibility I wanted. I'm getting promoted for owning this launch. And I was able to complete the project in less than half the time it would normally take. And now, lots of cheesy snacks.